Is Stan Store actually worth it? If you're like me, you've seen influencers talk about Stan Store all across social media. And you're wondering, is Stan Store actually that good? And so we're gonna answer that question and more in this video because I will give you a Stan Store walkthrough. We'll create a digital product together. I'll discuss pricing as well as compare it to other alternatives. And then lastly, I'll give you my honest opinion on whether or not Stan Store is actually worth it. And you're gonna wanna stick to the end because the platform you choose will be the main factor in determining how much money you actually make in your business. So here we are on the Stan Store homepage. The way you can access it is by going to stan.store. So you can see the additional features as well as the revenue made on Stan Store. It looks like this lady has made $1.7 million. And so I'm gonna talk about this a bit more when I share my honest opinion, but it looks like there's a lot of money that can be made by using the Stan Store platform. So in order to set your store up, we're gonna hit the button that says continue. And then it's gonna ask for our username, our full name, email, phone number, and password. And then we're gonna hit next. Once you create an account, it's gonna take you straight to the homepage. And this is where you can track your store visits, total revenue, and leads. And we're gonna envision right now and speak into existence that we're gonna have this total revenue be 100K and receive our silver plaque from Stan Store. And so if you're about that positivity and making that real life-changing money, I want you to comment 100K in the comments below. Next, we have the My Store tab. This is where you're gonna customize your homepage. And so we'll add in our business name as well as a bio or who we help and our social media handles. And so once you add in your business information, you're gonna scroll down and hit save. Next, we can create landing pages. This is gonna be specific pages dedicated to selling your digital products. Let's click create and see what our options are. And so we can choose from these eight product types. We can collect emails and applications, schedule coaching calls, have courses as well as webinars, sell digital products, custom products, set up reoccurring memberships, as well as offer community. And so once we decide on the products we wanna sell, we can then design our storefront. And so we have a couple of options. We can go with the Ethan Walker design, Nora Harris, or Isabella Smith. I've personally seen a lot of the top creators go with the Ethan Walker design. I then have the option of updating the colors as well as the font. And so a really good clear font is Poppins as well as Enter. For now, I'll go with Enter and hit Save. Moving on to income, this is where we can track our total revenue as well as our customer information. And so we can see the date that they made a purchase, what their email was, as well as the product that they bought and the amount that they bought that product for. If you want to set additional filters and look at only specific customers, we can by clicking the plus icon. Next, let's move on to analytics. And so within this tab, we can see our store visits or how many people have seen our store front our total revenue, as well as leads or the number of emails that we have. And so this is really good data that you wanna track as you continue to grow your business. Next, we have the customer tab. Within the customers tab, we can see how many people have made a purchase through our business. And if we wanted to add additional contacts, we can click the add contacts button, or we have the option of manually entering in each contact or importing a list. Next, we have the appointments tab. This is where you can clearly see the meetings that have been scheduled with your customers. And so you can see this in the calendar view as well as in the list view. Next, we have the referrals tab. These are the creators and entrepreneurs that you've referred to Stan Store. And what's nice is that you will get 20% of the lifetime commissions for each referral. If you refer just 10 creators on the more affordable $29 a month plan, within the next 12 months, you could be earning $720 without having to do any additional work. And so the best type of income is passive income and Stan Store makes that possible. Next, we have email flows. This is where you send automatic emails to your customers. And so in order to get email flows, you will have to upgrade to the Creator Pro plan. I personally would not upgrade to the Creator Pro for the email flows. I would upgrade for other reasons. Next, we have Auto DM. This is where you can automatically send messages to people on Instagram that comment a specific word or phrase, which is great because it takes you out of having to make the sale. Instead, Stan Store will do that for you. Next, we have Ask Stanley. This is the AI software integrated into Stan Store. So what you can do if you already have content created is ask Stanley to recommend digital products that you can sell to your audience. 
And so I would recommend that you use this AI chatbot to help you grow your business. If you'd like me to go into how you can really use Stanley AI, let me know in the comments below. And so as you see, Stanstore offers a lot of features and really gives you the support you need to hit six figures with a digital product business. So let me quickly hop back to my store so I can walk you through how to set up a digital product. I'm gonna go to landing pages and then I'm gonna click create and then I'll go to digital products. They've broken out the checkout page into five steps. The first is selecting an image. And so we have the option of uploading our own image or going with one of the images they have already available. Once we have our picture, we're now on to step two, which is write our description. This is where we need to add in our title, the description text, which describes the product, the bottom title, which currently says, get my guide, as well as a call to action. For step three, that's where we're gonna set the price. Since we're just starting our business, it's okay to start off with our prices low. We wanna build trust with our audience. And as they see that we deliver, we can then increase the prices. And so $10 is a great price to set your digital products at. Next, we have the customer information that we'd like to collect. We have the name and email field already added. If we wanna add an additional field, we can just click the add field button. For now, let's just go with name and email. Next, it's gonna ask us to upload our digital product. And so we have the option of uploading a file or direct link. Once the file is uploaded, you're gonna see the file name as well as a green check mark. Once you review that everything looks good, you're then gonna hit publish. And so your first digital product has now been created. And so the way that you're gonna add it to your storefront is you're gonna click add product, you're gonna scroll down, click URL slash media, and you're gonna paste in the link that you just created. And so now we have our first digital product created and available on the storefront. And so when it comes to pricing, Stan Store positions itself as more of a premium option. You have the creator plan and the creator pro plan. The creator plan is $29 a month and the creator pro plan is $99 a month. If you wanna save money, you can save 20% by hopping on the annual plan. And with the annual plan, creator goes down to $25 a month, Creator Pro goes down to $79 a month, which is a pretty huge discount. So included with the creator plan is a mobile optimized link and bio store. You get coaching calls, course builder, audience analytics, Instagram, auto DMs, community, webinars, digital products, links, URLs, one tap checkout, lead magnets, an email list, custom mobile app, 24 seven creator support and subscriptions and memberships. This sounds like a lot, it is a lot that you're getting. And so what I now realize about Sandstore is that it forces you to make money. Do I like the high price tag? Not really, but I do like the idea that I am forced to focus on making money in my business. And so the goal with having Sandstore is that you wanna make sure you make your money back. The best and easiest way to make your money back is with a coaching call. You offer up your time. You can do it for $50 an hour, $100 an hour, even $30 an hour. Share valuable information and make your money back. Then we have the Creator Pro Plan. This is for $99 a month. And so what you get with this is email marketing flows, discount codes and upsell offers, affiliate links, as well as pixel tracking. And so two really big call outs about the Creator Pro Plan is that you can make upsell offers and you can also do affiliate links. And so what I personally would recommend is the creator plan at $29 a month and challenging yourself to do one coaching call that covers the cost of this creator plan within 24 hours. If you do wind up making a sale. I want you to come back to this video and comment, I did it in the comments below. Now it's time to compare Stan Store to other alternatives. And so two really big ones stand out. There's Beacons and Linktree. And so when you compare Stan Store and Beacons, they both make selling digital products very easy and straightforward. And so what I like about Stan Store versus Beacons is that Stan Store makes it easier to sell your freebie. And so your customers can put in their name and email without having to leave your Stan Store homepage. Versus with Beacons, the customer has to go through an additional checkout page in order to get the digital product. And so the reason why this is important is because you want the customer to access your digital products as quickly as possible. And so with Amazon, if you could choose between two day and five day shipping, you would likely want two day shipping. The same goes for your digital products. You don't want customers to have to follow multiple steps. Instead, you want it to be as easy as possible and Stan Store makes that happen. And so what I personally really like about Beacons, you can actually customize your emails. So you can have it sent from your email rather than the traditional Stan Store email. And so I would say that the customization when it comes to emails is a huge benefit that Beacons offers versus Stan Store. And so the last comparison I wanna make is that Beacons is set up 
up more like Linktree. They make it really easy to click on affiliate links versus with Stan Store, they really do prioritize and make it easy to sell digital products. And so depending on what you're promoting will then determine what platform you decide to choose. Now it's time for me to share my honest opinion on Stan Store. And I want you to know I'm being real honest with you here. For the past year and a half, I've been solely dedicated to beacons. I haven't wanted to use Stand Store. I'm like, it's overpriced. It's not worth the $30 a month or the $100 a month. But most recently, I've woken up to the fact that if I plan on selling digital products, which I do, I need to be using Stand Store, specifically for digital products. Now, if you're doing affiliate marketing, beacons, Linktree, other platforms are fine. But if you're selling digital products, you want to be on Stand Store because Stand Store is now the industry leader. And when I say industry leader, top influencers are using Stand Store. To give you some examples, Dan Co, Arlen Hamilton, Stephen Bartlett, Cassandra Wilcox and Modern Millie are all using and promoting Stand Store. And so Stand Store is like the apple of link in bio. You want to use the platform that people consider is the best. And currently the best link in bio platform is Stand Store as the top people in the industry love it, speak highly of it, and customers see it as more of a premium platform. And so when you charge higher prices for your products or services, they're going to be more willing to pay because they see that you're more willing to pay for the platform that you're using. And so I will be officially moving my digital products and coaching services to the Stand Store platform. If you want to see me create my Stand Store, make sure to like and subscribe because I will be releasing that video. As now, I've got to get a Stand Store created because I truly want to grow my business. And so I recommend that you do use Stand Store for your digital product business. Let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below. I cannot wait to see you next time and make sure to check out this video right here for the best business bank account.